Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And now, host Cheryl Miller. Hello and good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here for Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. Today's teams are competing in round one of our new season. As with a lot of things these days, we have had to make some changes to the way our academic challenge is played due to the pandemic situation. Our competition still welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia, but they're joining us remotely. Today's teams are the Titans of Trinity Episcopal School, coached by Pauline Crowling. You'll find Trinity Episcopal School just south of the James River in the city of Richmond. It's a private liberal arts high school serving about 500 students and was Richmond's first international baccalaureate school. Also with us remotely today, the Monarchs of Meadowbrook High School, coached by Belinda Henriquez. Meadowbrook High School is in the Chesterfield County School District. The school is home to the International Baccalaureate Program and the Academy for Developing Entrepreneurs. It's so great to have all of these students joining us remotely today. We'll meet them a little bit later. Since we can't all be together here in our studio, here's how our gameplay has changed. We will have toss-up rounds with questions directed to each team. The first answer from a team is the accepted answer. Players will answer by raising their hands. We also this year have Virginia-based video questions from the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. All right, teams, good to have you here. Let's start our first toss-up round. The first question goes to Trinity Episcopal School. Name the world's largest marsupial carnivore, threatened with extinction and found only in the wild on an island south of Australia. Colin. Kangaroo. That is incorrect. We were looking for Tasmanian Devil. Meadowbrook, it lies in the Western Pacific Ocean at 36,201 feet deep. What is the lowest point on Earth? Sam. The Mariana Trench. That is correct. In the, it would be called specifically Challenger Deep. Trinity Episcopal School, what specific quadrilateral has only one pair of parallel opposite sides? Leal. A parallelogram? That would be the trapezoid. Meadowbrook, flying 187 miles high on a trip lasting 108 minutes aboard Vostok 1, name this man who became the first human in space. That was Russia's Yuri Gagarin. Trinity Episcopal, stretching for over 100 miles on the western edge of the Sinai Peninsula, what waterway was built in the 1860s to connect the Mediterranean and Red Seas? Mitchell. Um, I, I don't know. All right, no answer. That would be the Suez Canal. Meadowbrook High School. The famous 1754 cartoon depicting a divided snake with the caption, join or die, appeared in a newspaper owned by whom? would be Benjamin Franklin. Trinity Episcopal, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. Located in Chesterfield County, Virginia's largest state park is named for which indigenous princess? Leal. Pocahontas State Park. That is correct, Pocahontas. Meadowbrook, in the standard tuning of a five-string banjo, what chord is played when all of the strings are strummed without fingering a note? Be the key of G. Trinity, you may need your paper and pencil for this one. The sum of four consecutive even integers is 68. What is the value of the smallest one? Bachelor. 12. It's actually 14. Meadowbrook. Nitrogen makes up about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. Which gas necessary for human survival makes up 21%? Janice. Oxygen. That is correct. 
Trinity, in Lewis Carroll's Alice's One Adventures in Wonderland, which character, whose conversation is largely puns and plays on words, is often seen weeping? Leal. The Mad Hatter. It would be the Mock Turtle. Meadowbrook, it is the force that drives the sun and the stars. Name this process that creates energy by smashing atoms together instead of splitting them. Sam. Binary fission. No, it's actually fusion. And that buzzer means our first toss-up round is over, but a lot more questions still ahead. Good job by our team so far, though. Up next, we'll introduce you to today's players, and then they'll take on the category round. So stay here for much more on Battle of the Brains. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. The team from Trinity Episcopal School with 10 points. Our team from Meadowbrook High School with 20 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want to introduce you to today's players. First, let's meet our team from Trinity Episcopal School. The Titans are coached by Pauline Crowling. First up is Leal El Ayubi, who is a junior. She aspires towards, towards a profession in the humanities. She enjoys running cross-country, playing the viola, writing, and speaking French. Next up is our team captain, Bachelor Burt, who is a senior who would like to continue working in the music field, including performing and production. He plays drums and guitar. He likes spending time with his friends and playing sports. He's been playing lacrosse for about five years now. Next up is Colin Edsel, who is a junior. His interest is include basketball, soccer, and playing video games. He's interested in a career in information technology. And wrapping up our team from Trinity Episcopal, Mitchell Kugelman, who is a junior. He plans to study business and finance. His favorite subject is math. He hopes to play golf in the spring, and he's currently the goalie for the Trinity Varsity Soccer Team. Welcome to our team from Trinity Episcopal School. Good to have you here. Now let's meet our team today from Meadowbrook High School. They are the Monarchs. Their coach is Belinda Henriquez. First up on our team is Sam Cook. Sam is a junior. His hobbies include drawing, camping with the Boy Scouts of America. He likes school sarcasm and making his friends laugh. Um, he says nature is a truly wonderful thing. Next up is our team captain, Grace Davis. Grace is a junior in Meadowbrook's IB program. She likes to dance and listen to music. She's a Girl Scout and wants to be either a French or a science teacher. Next up is James Sonikin, who is a junior. He wants to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. He's currently in the debate club and enjoys basketball. And wrapping up our team from Meadowbrook High School, Janice Jeffries. Janice is a junior who's in the Beta Club. She writes poetry and would like to pursue a career in immigration law. And great to have all these students with us here today as well. Now it's time for our category round where each of our teams will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll get a 20 point bonus. Teams, take a look here at today's categories from which you may choose. They are geographic sites, U.S. currency, and human organ systems. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers. The high score team gets first choice of category. That is Meadowbrook High School. So, Grace, I see you're talking it over with your team. Let me know what category you would like to play. Okay, Grace, unmute your microphone, and I need an answer, please. Uh, we're going to do geographic sites. All right, geographic sites. Identify the country in which each of the following is located. The first is Chichen Itza. Uh, Mexico? Correct. Pompeii. Italy. Correct. Taj Mahal. India. Correct. Pamplona. Um, pass. Pass. That's in Spain. Stonehenge. Uh, England. England is correct. The Acropolis. Greece. Greece. Correct. Innsbruck. Eastbrook. Uh, Scotland. It's in Austria. The Hagia Sophia. Oh. A Turkey. 
Turkey? Turkey is correct. St. Basil's Cathedral. Russia? Russia? Uh, Russia? That is correct. And finally, Mecca. Oh. Um, no. Um. And that is in Saudi Arabia. Good job on your category for our team from Meadowbrook. Now for Trinity Episcopal School, it will either be U.S. currency or human organ systems. Bachelor, what would you and your team like to play? Uh, we choose organ systems. Human, human organ systems? Okay. Yep. Identify the organ system of the human body represented by each of the following organs. The first is bones and tendons. Uh, the skeletal system. Correct. Thyroid and pancreas. Uh, the digestive system. That would be endocrine. Testes and ovaries. Uh, the reproductive system. Correct. Brain and spinal cord. The nervous system. Correct. Epithelial cells and melanin. Integumentary system. That is correct. Or skin. Nose and trachea. The respiratory system. Correct. Heart and blood vessels. The cardiovascular system. That would be circulatory. Large intestine and esophagus. The digestive system. Correct. Kidneys and bladder. The urinary system. That is correct. Or excretory. And finally, biceps and quadriceps. The muscular system. That is correct. Good job on that category as well by our team from Trinity Episcopal School. Coming up next, we'll have another toss-up round when we continue here on Battle of the Brain. Stay with us. Welcome back to Battle of the Brain, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Trinity Episcopal School with 50 points. Our team from Meadowbrook High School, 55 points. And now back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round again this season. Questions directed team to team, alternating between them. Anyone on that team may answer by raising their hand and waiting for me to call on them. And there are no point deductions for incorrect answers. Our first question in this toss-up round goes to Trinity Episcopal School. Its name comes from the Greek for method of arrangement. What is the science of classifying and naming species? Bachelor. Taxonomy. That is correct. Meadowbrook. His reign is remembered for its indiscriminate cruelty. Name this king who ruled over Judea from 37 to 4 BC and whose most notorious act was the murder of all male infants in Bethlehem to prevent the fulfillment of a prophecy heralding the birth of the Messiah. is King Herod. Trinity, born on the edge of the Nalachucky River in Tennessee, he served three terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. Name this American who did not kill a bear when he was only three, but did die at the Alamo in 1836. That would be Davy Crockett. Meadowbrook, in 1986, near what Soviet city in the Ukraine was there a serious nuclear accident? Sam. Sam? Chernobyl. That is correct. Trinity Episcopal, the human brain is divided into three primary vesicles. The forebrain is the center for the sense of smell, the midbrain for vision, and the hindbrain for the sense of taste, and what other sensibility? Bachelor. Vision. That is incorrect. It's balance. Meadowbrook, carbon atoms attached to a hydrogen atom, a side chain, a carboxyl group, and an NH2 group form what acidic building blocks of proteins? Sam. Amino acids. Say again for me. Amino acids. Amino acids is correct, yes. Trinity Episcopal, please watch the screen and... Name the five-star U.S. military general whose famous quotes include, old soldiers never die, they just fade away, 
and I shall return. Bachelor. Uh, Dwight Eisenhower. That would be Douglas MacArthur. All right, Meadowbrook, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. A graduate of Richmond's Collegiate School, Russell Wilson plays quarterback for which NFL team? James. Seahawks. That is correct. Trinity Episcopal. What 20th century American painter is closely associated with a method called action painting, which consists of pouring and flicking paint onto a canvas and using sticks or knives to shape it into patterns? Bachelor. Jackson Pollock. That is correct. Meadowbrook, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. Jane's car burns an unknown quantity of gas when Jane drives for 10 hours, averaging 60 miles per hour and getting 30 miles per gallon. How many gallons of gas does Jane's car consume? And that would be 20 gallons. Trinity, it was introduced in 1905 and is usually reported on a bell curve with standard deviation 15 and mean 100. Name this quantity proposed by Alfred Binet, a numerical measure of intelligence. Bachelor. Uh, the IQ test? That is correct, or intelligence quotient. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round ahead and we'll have today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores as we head into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Trinity Episcopal School, 80 points. Meadowbrook High School, 85 points. And in this final toss-up round, the point score for correct answer is doubled. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer. And again, for our virtual version of Battle of the Brains, we are directing questions to each team with anyone on that team able to answer by raising their hand and waiting for me to call on them. All right, let's start our final round. We start with Meadowbrook High School. In music, a key signature that contains only one flat, B flat, is in what major key? And that would be the key of F. Trinity Episcopal, in mathematics, what is represented by a symbol that appears to be the number eight lying on its side? Bachelor. Infinity. That is correct. Meadowbrook, what specific date is inscribed on the tablet that's being held in the Statue of Liberty's left hand? That would be July 4th, 1776. Trinity Episcopal, in what war was the United States involved in between 1846 and 1848? Bachelor. The Spanish-American War. It's actually the Mexican-American War. Meadowbrook, freestyle, breaststroke, and backstroke are three of the four major categories of competitive swimming. Name the fourth. Sam. The butterfly. That is correct. Trinity Episcopal, a year before his death in 1917, he bequeathed his entire collection of paintings, sculptures, drawings, archives, and collections to the French government. Name this famous sculptor of The Thinker. Oh. Bachelor. Monet. No, it was Auguste Rodin. Meadowbrook, Israel's Knesset, the legislature of every Canadian province and the state legislature of Nebraska are described by what 10-letter term indicating that they have only a single house or chamber? That would be unicameral legislatures. Trinity Episcopal scurvy is a disease that is caused by a lack of vitamin C in the body. What is the specific type of acid that is called vitamin C? Bachelor. Asorbic. 
Ascorbic acid is correct, yes. Meadowbrook, ophthalmology is a branch of medicine that specializes in treating diseases of the eye. Spell ophthalmology. Sam? O-P-T-I-M-O-L-O-G-Y. Why? Ophthalmology. It, it's O P H T H A L M O L O G Y. Ophthalmology. Trinity Episcopal. How many letters of the alphabet make up the total number of Roman numerals? There are seven I V X L C D M. Meadowbrook. L'état c'est moi, according to legend, was the boast of what European king? Grace? King Louis XIV. He said, I am the state. It was Louis XIV of France. Oh, is that what you said? Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. I, did, I couldn't hear you. The judges could. So you got that correct. Yes. All right, Trinity Episcopal, name the only man who served less than four years as vice president under Franklin Roosevelt. <phone rings> Bachelor. Uh, Truman. That is correct, Harry Truman. <laughs> buzzer is the end of our match. While our judges double check the final score, we want to remind you how to stay connected with the Battle of the Brains. To find out more about our show, just log on to battleofthebrains.net. You'll also find Battle of the Brains on Facebook and full episodes of the show on our YouTube page. As we continue round one of our new season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week when we virtually welcome teams from J.R. Tucker High School in Henrico County and Walk in Truth Home Educators. It was a close match all the way. Here's the final score for today match the winning team going on to the next round. Our team from Meadowbrook ends the match with a final score of 125 points. A great job today by Sam, Grace, James, and Janice. Our winners today, Trinity Episcopal with a final score of 140 points. Leal, Bachelor, Cullen, and Mitchell will join us here in the next round. Congratulations. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks so much for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next Saturday morning. Great job, teams. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan.